program Bistro Stream and Work student code 1607547 and this is my oral presentation for module 2 sustainable prospects for MA photography at Falmouth University. My current work is mostly focused on my project Culture Crossroads so during this module I made quite a few trips to various locations around the Balkans to create new content. I visited Crete, Greece for the sake of landscape photography and historical monuments. I went to Bucharest, Romania, for the sake of street photography and architecture shows. I roamed the streets of my hometown, Sofia, in Bulgaria to capture the beauty of abandoned buildings. What I also did during this module was to attract more audiences to my project. Here is what I did. I launched the project in October 2017 and I'm present on social media. Currently, Culture Crossroads has its own Instagram account and Facebook page as well as a blog. I try to be versatile, so once I upload an image to my photographic page, I talk about the story behind the shot and give some photo tips. When I upload the same image to my project page, I talk about the significance of the place, its history and how to get there. During this module, I had to research how to market my project. So here is what I found out. It is unique in terms of scope and in terms of combination of text and images. There are projects that are focused on one country only or that are only travel logs or only images. I try to combine text and images to tell more than a story or just show an interesting image. I think that my project would be useful to travelers, tourists and photographers alike, with each of them to find something interesting in there. I also researched prospective financial gain from my project and I found out that it cannot be marketed currently in this stage on the Bulgarian market because Bulgarians are not used to paying for images. There is copyright law, but unfortunately, once something is on the internet, it cannot protect you because it's very difficult to prove who downloaded what from where. I can get some money from selling prints online and I've already set up an online shop for that, but I currently don't have any income. And in the future, I plan to set up a travel book since travel books are really popular in Bulgaria today and there are a few successful projects about Bulgarian for example landscapes or interesting places to see so I think that could be useful what I'll be trying to do is to market this project abroad but to do this I'll need more content next steps about the project are to attract more people and more followers to have more materials for reading on my blog and I'm planning to write quite a few articles to create a website for the project but I'm currently assessing some platforms and to start posting images along with behind the scenes videos I already have the images but it takes some time to process them here we come to my current module work it is called Beyond the Postcard and it is a mini photo project and an awareness campaign. It's focused on abandoned buildings around the Balkans. The critical context of my current work is first of all the Fading Sofia project which was done by architects in 2010 with the aim to document each and every abandoned place in town. It had an amazing website along with a map of all abandoned buildings in Sofia but unfortunately this website is now unavailable just in case it works again I've added it to the references page the other inspiration for Beyond the Postcard was Zdravko Jonchev's project Disappearing Bulgaria Zdravko Jonchev is a Bulgarian photographer that mainly does abandoned buildings this image you can see on the slide is one of his images and basically one of my favorites. Beyond the postcard started with this image I took by accident in Crete. When I showed it in a webinar, both tutors and peers were 
impressed by it. So they encouraged me to do a portfolio of abandoned buildings. So I rose up to the challenge and I created things like that. This is called the house with the strawberries and it's one of the most beautiful abandoned buildings in Sofia. Unfortunately, all access to it is denied. These are two old buildings that you can find while strolling the streets of Sofia. Having said all this, I want to thank you for your attention and I want to show you my list of figures currently I have only one, which is the picture with no title that I love so much, and my references, which include, as I mentioned about the Fading Sophia website, just in case it works again, but it's now unavailable. When I started my project, it was available. And Zdravko Yonchev's Facebook page and personal website for more images and more details. Once again, thank you for your attention.